Hey everybody, happy Friday. I hope you've had a great week. Um, Facebook has changed <laughs> the whole setting here. So it's looking a little weird. Um, hopefully I can figure it out. It took me like five minutes to figure out how to turn the camera. Just when you think you've got everything figured out, they go and change it. All right, let's see if you guys can find me. Let's see if I can find me. I am so excited about today's projects. Um, the frightfully cute bundle is what I'm using. And of course it's on back order, but it is still orderable. Um, and it's one that you wanna get forever. Like you will use it for Halloween stuff forever. It's that good. You know what? I forgot to turn Do Not Disturb. You know what? I think I can do that on my phone, right? Let's see. Um, let's see. Turn on Do Not Disturb. I was getting notifications on my phone and I was thinking, okay, that's not normal. Hmm. Okay. We'll see how it goes today. Hopefully it doesn't just end in the middle. If it does, I will come back on. <laughs> Mary, you're cutting down trees today. Oh my gosh, that sounds like really hard work. Really hard work. All right, well, let's see. Okay, I have found me. Am I in the right place? I am, right? <laughs> it, there's nothing like panic when you go live in the wrong place. Okay, yep, I'm there. Okay, good. Okay. So I'm going to run through a couple of things and then I'm going to show you all of the goodies and the cards that you guys sent me this week. It was awesome. Um, the first thing I want to remind you about is Club Create. Um, the seventh is the last day to sign up for this, which is next Thursday. This month is Sweet Little Stockings. Um, Club Create is my subscription program. Um, it will ship around usually the 21st. So if you're interested in this, click the Club Create tab at the top of my blog. Um, has anybody checked my blog? Did it go live already? Did the post go up? There's a link there as well. Now, I also wanted to tell you for all my Club Create subscribers, next month, November, it's not, don't, don't subscribe yet because this begins on the 8th. Um, next month for November, we're doing the Whimsical trees. I forgot what it's called. Okay. So that's November. Don't subscribe yet. If you want just this one, if you're already subscribed, don't worry, your subscription will carry over and you'll get it unless you cancel. Um, but good, Karen, thank you. Um, so if you subscribe between now and the seventh, you're signing up for this month, starting the eighth. If you haven't subscribed, then you would subscribe for November. So the cutoff for this month is the seventh. That's probably super confusing. But if you go and read <laughs> all the words that I have typed on my blog, hopefully it'll make a little more sense. Now, the um, the class to go I listed this week is the what I'm calling the sweet, and you guys taught me how to say it, cloche. <laughs> sweet cloche class. Here it is. There's some shaker cards. There's some non-shaker cards. This class registration is different than my regular classes. Um, because I'm using the bundle and a, another stamp set. So you need this bundle and you need this stamp set. They both coordinate with the dies that are in this bundle. So usually I have option one includes a bundle, option two doesn't include the bundle, option three is the PDF. This time, option one is the class kit, okay? It does not include the stamps or a bundle. If you, if you want the stamps or the bundle, then you add them onto your kit. The reason I did it this way is because there's several combinations here. You might have the bundle and not the stamp set. You might have the stamp set and not the bundle. You might have the stamp set, but you need the die. So I thought, you know what, if I have 18 choices for class kits, that's just gonna be too confusing. So there's just one, Number one, if you want the class to go kit mailed to you, that's option one, okay? And then if you need the stamp set, you can add that on. If you need the um, bundle, you can add that on. You're gonna get the Playful Pets ribbon. I'm just giving you a little sneak peeks. The Playful Pets ribbon, you're gonna get these awesome subtle sequins. You're gonna get, what is the other thing? Oh, a pack of the domes 
which are on back order, but guess what? They're coming back in time. Yay. These awesome things. All right. So this class deadline is, um, let's see, I have my notes, October 22nd. So you have a while. If you want to go and look at it, I have a video explaining it. Um, just on the bottom of today's blog post, you can find it. Okay. So remember, if you want the class kit, you get option one, and then you can add on the bundle and or the stamp set if you want it. I know it's a little confusing. I didn't, it, was, it took me many days to figure out how I was going to list this class. <laughs> I usually only stick to one stamp set, one bundle, um, but this time I added in two because they both coordinate. And I feel like if you get those dies, you really should have both stamp sets. I have little dogs right here. I blocked them off. They can't get in and they're trying to get my attention. They heard me talking. You guys, I have to tell you a story. So remember last week when I flipped the camera and I showed you that ugly machine that was sitting in front of my house? Well, it's been sitting there for a week, right? They'll move it during the day and then they use it and then they come back and park it in front of my house. Well, yesterday they're moving up our street, putting in this fiber and yesterday, Pepper, yesterday they hit a main water line and there was water like a raging river going down our street. It was coming up into my driveway, backing up into my driveway. And we live kind of like our driveway goes up and then it goes down to our house. And I was so afraid that that water was gonna come down to our house. It is a huge mess. The water company, the water flowed for like, I don't know, at least half an hour, gushing. And then the, the whole cul-de-sac is filled with water. And then our water company came out, turned the water off. So we had no water from four o'clock yesterday afternoon until like two in the morning. They were out there working all night. They had a backhoe. They, my neighbor lost about half of her driveway. She couldn't park in her driveway because she said, they said that the water had made a cavern under her driveway. <laughs> so this, these people are awful. So if you're getting fiber in your neighborhood anytime soon, I pray that your contractors are better than ours. Anyway, that was the drama here this week. Okay, I just thought you guys would like an update because I showed you the stupid machine that was there. I'm gonna turn you guys around. Hold on. Hi, Terry. So you guys really spoiled me this week. Pepper, are you really gonna talk to me this whole time? I'm gonna have to give her something, a cookie or something so she'll go away. <laughs> Um, so it was my birthday on Tuesday. Uh, many of you sent me messages. Thank you. Y'all are so sweet. And then my husband was like, oh my gosh, so many people are sending you things. So I'm going to show you guys this, but hold on. Let me get rid of my annoying little dogs. Let me see. Hopefully I have enough. Oh, I have just enough. Okay. Hold on guys. Sorry. Yes, I know you're, you know, you can get a cookie if you bark during Facebook live. Come here, Charlie. All right. Sorry guys. Okay, so let me go through and just show you the gorgeousness that I got this week. And hopefully they're not all mixed up because when I got back from Waco, there was like this giant pile of stuff. My daughter had opened half of it, so <laughs> I don't know. Um, this is from Macon, I believe. Yep, look, she made this slim line cards. I believe that's what they're called so that you can fit it in like a, um, you know, like a, what do you call this, a legal size envelope. Um, I love these. We probably need to do a Facebook Live where we make these long slimline cards. Beautiful. She also sent this really cute thing here where it like stands up like this. And then look, there are these little tags. Look at the cute little chicken. So cute. See how that stands up? It's really, it's really quite extraordinary. Thank you, Megan. I love it. This one just came today and it's actually a thank you card, but I had to show you guys. This is from Megan. Look at it and look inside. I don't want you guys to have to read the message. But look at that, how cute. That is the cutest inside of a card I've ever seen, Megan. So this one, I absolutely love. So cute. That embossing folder, I need to use it. Okay, look at this. This came, um, and it's so cute. This is from Vicki, um, beautiful card. But then look, she sent me this adorable little flag and I have a little flagpole in my front yard that I'm gonna put that on. Doesn't that have my name written all over it? So cute, Vicki. All right, now this one, um, where is that box right here? This card is really cool. Okay. So it opens like a regular card. Colors are gorgeous, but then she also put this little like special little seal here. I don't want you guys to read her message either, but look at that. See in that neat how it opens. Ruth, fantastic, beautiful stamping. And Ruth, I believe these came together. This is one of the things my daughter 
open. She thought it was her phone case. That's what she said. But anyway, I believe that this is this these came together and they, they're these cute little earrings look it's so cute and this box i'm gonna i'm gonna case this box okay so i'm gonna leave this out so that i can remember so pretty thank you ruth okay this one is from sherry this is a thank you card i think i have two cards in here from sherry i love this z fold card double z fold now you guys will notice a trend here y'all know me there's lots of buffalo check and there's lots of pink so funny. This is from Christy, my downline. Isn't that beautiful? I love that paper. So pretty. Thank you, Christy. Ooh, and this one is fun. This is from Ann Margaret. Look at that. That's what we're using today. I love it. Love, love, love it. I just want to stare at it. I, I just love this Halloween stuff. Pumpkins from Terry. This is from my downline. Terry makes beautiful cards. Isn't that gorgeous? Look, wow, Terry, you put that mermaid... Um, or that disco ball sequin, uh, what do we call it? Bedazz bedazzle paper <laughs> behind the pumpkin. It's beautiful. And that's embossed. Wow, very pretty. Um, this one, let's see, this was from Sherry. This is the other card from Sherry. Uh, uh, happy birthday, thank you. Uh, what do they call those? A Dutch store, I think. Um, look, Buffalo check and pink from Sue. She's my downline also. So cute. And I like how you did the marker like that. Very cute. More pink from Laura. Oh, Laura sent me, well, this is the thank you card. Laura sent me a birthday present as well. Let me just show you this. Laura came to our downline meeting with a shirt like this. And uh, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. So she made me this adorable bag and another beautiful card. So, Laura, thank you. I love this. Love, love it. Um, I will be using that a, a bunch. This is from oh, Carla. So cute. Carla knows me well as well. Buffalo Jack or Gingham and the pumpkins. And Carla, very nice fussy cutting. I'm very impressed. Good job, girl. Look how adorable this one is. Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. This is from Donna. And Donna sent me a gift card. Donna, you did not have to do that. You guys are so thoughtful, but this is fun. I'm going to leave this out. I want to case this too. This, I don't know what this is called, but it's just one layer here like this and then this, and then look at the pink stripes. I love everything about it. So cute. More pink with that beautiful flower. This is from Lisa, also my downline. She knows me well too. She helps me make tags um, for my class kits. This is from Mary Rita, also my downline. There's that fun paper. I love that paper. This is from, oh, I love that pumpkin set in that paper. That was last year or year before, I love it. Um, Tari's so pretty. Look at that embossing um, die on the side. I love that, so unique. We don't still have the stamp set, right? It retired and the dies. Oh, I really like it a lot. That ribbon, wow, so many layers, beautiful. Okay, now this came from Patty. Did I, what did I do with Patty? Patty is in my downline and she sends these adorable boxes. Oh, I know. Where did I put it? She, I don't know what I did, but anyway, she, I've already put the, you'll see behind, well, I guess I turned the camera around. Behind me, she sent me a buffalo check ceramic pumpkin. It's so cute. I mean, hello, so cute. And then a jar of those candy corn pumpkins and there's only one left. <laughs> We like those around here. But look at the shaker. She used a clear envelope, I think, so that it's still flat. I need to case that as well. Patty, thank you. Look on the inside. Patty's very creative and thoughtful. She sends out these, like, fun boxes all the time. Now, I have to show you guys this, and I have kind of taken it apart, and it's missing part of it. This is from my downline, Denise. Look at that banner. She's like, maybe you could use this. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I think I can. And then look, the Corgi notepad. <laughs> I don't know where Denise got this, but it's so cute. Teresa, it is still current. Where are mine? They're probably in my retired box. I love that set. The stitched leaves is a, okay, thank you for telling me. I'm gonna pull that out because we're gonna do leaves in two weeks, I think. We're gonna do like great, grateful Thanksgiving stuff. Thank you for telling me. That's the problem when you have too much stuff, you can't remember what you have. Denise, thank you. So cute. 
All right, this came from my downline, Antoinette. And Antoinette lives in New York. She is one of the best gift givers I've ever known. She will send me gifts out of the blue, and they're like so good. I don't know where she shops, but she's a good shopper. That's beautiful. She made this little thing. And then look at this. Sunflowers and gingham, and it's a shell. Gifts from the sea. I absolutely love it. And she made a little tag. Oh, so sweet. Thank you, Antoinette. I wish I was half as thoughtful as you guys are. Okay, this one came from Sandy. I loved everything in it, Sandy. She made, look, these. Have you, you guys ever made these cute little things? So fun. And look, she put the little tag on that. These are great for fast and easy um, gifts or treats to send to school. I think I saw her making these for her grandkids. The sunflower card. Look, sunflower coasters. Is that a Van Gogh painting? Mm, I don't know. My mom would know, but it's very pretty. It kind of looks like one. Look, she even stamped it. I didn't want to throw the tissue paper away because she stamped the tissue paper. Oh, so pretty. And then jelly bellies. Oh, my gosh. My kids haven't seen those yet. I'm going to keep them. I'm going to hide them so that they don't see them. All right, I've got to find some room to put this stuff. Let's see, hold on, I'm not done. I got a couple more things. Kathy sent me, this is so cute. Look, it's a little cake and it's a, it's a little bit bruised, but don't worry, it's still good. Look how cute, I'm gonna put this on display. That is a lot of work, Kathy. That's gorgeous. And then look what she did with this. Why didn't I think about doing a little tag? I should add that to my class. Very, very, very cute. Very cute. All right. Did I miss anything? I hope I did not. You guys, thank you so much. I, I, I can't tell you like how special it is to have you guys send cards and stuff. Like I'm just, I'm very touched. So thank you very, very, very much. I do appreciate it. Um, it's, I don't know. It's just really nice to get surprise mail. I know some of you know what I'm talking about. It's nice. Okay, moving on. And then I got to get stamping. The new all-star tutorial bundle came out today. It's the Blackberry Beauty. If you are a subscriber, I emailed it to you this morning. If you didn't get it, let me know. Um, about five don't get delivered for some reason each time. Look at that. Anyway, this is 12, they, these are 12 projects all featuring the Blackberry Beauty um, suite of products in the holiday catalog. And uh, this is mine right here. I always try to do a 3D, three, whoa, that was like a, like a Texas accent. Did you hear that? A 3D project. They're all videos. They have um, the links and QR codes so that you can scan it and watch the video. This is available in my PDF store for $15. You'll also get it for free. If you spend $50 with me anytime during October, okay? Um, and I email them out about once a week. Um, so if you put in an order on Tuesday, you might wait a few days or a week or so before I, I email it to you. If you get tired of waiting on me, just email me and tell me, can I please have my free PDF? And I will happily send it to you. All right, so there's that. Okay, I've cleared the table. Let's do door prizes. And... Let's see, my two winners from last week, Sandy Perry and Heidi Pura. I don't know if I said that right, Heidi, I'm sorry. Ladies, congratulations. Um, Sandy, I have your mailing address, of course. Heidi, I don't believe I have yours. If you'll reach out to me, I will get these in the mail to you guys next week. Thank you so much for sharing my video. It does help me find new customers and I appreciate it. This week, how about the Nets About Squirrels stamp set? Pepper. Stop. Um, the nuts about squirrels. Um, all you have to do is share, and I will pick two winners next week. Okay. Alrighty. Now, if you have never joined me for Facebook Friday before, we I pick usually a product and make three projects with it. So this week, of course, we're doing frightfully cute, and of course, it's on back order. But like I said at the beginning. <laughs> That's my dog, if you guys don't know. I have a spoiled. I have three schnauzers. One is super duper spoiled. And she's going to stand there and yawn and make that weird noise at me until I give her another cookie, which I'm not going to give her because I don't have any more. So hopefully if we ignore her long enough, she'll go away. She thinks I'm talking to her, I guess. 
Anyway, um, and if you watch my videos on YouTube, you hear her about 90% of the time in the video at some point. <laughs> she thinks, I don't know what she thinks when I'm making videos, but she has to come do that every single time. Um, this bundle is adorable. It is on back order. Um, it's due to come in mid-October. So you would get it before ha Halloween. But I also think that this is one of, that would be a staple. If you make cute Halloween stuff, this is one that you would want to have for years and years and years. Oh, she's going to walk away, I hope. Um, so anyway, that's what we're using today. I've done three projects, three 3D projects, and I love them so much. I, I This one, when we get to this one, it's one of my favorites of all time. This PDF is over at pinkbugger.com. It's under the third photo. Um, it's free, has all the measurements and the product information. Fingers crossed the measurements are right this week. This It's been two weeks in a row that I had wrong measurements. Um, hopefully, they are correct. <sighs> I need to take her to the dog sitter. Now, the make and takes. If you want these make and takes for free, this is like my card class. All you have to do is put in an order, $35 or more, between now and Monday at midnight using this host code. What am I going to do? How am I going to get her to go away? Um, and they, I send them to you. They look like this. These are some from the past. You will need the stamps Frightfully cute stamps and dies to make your projects. Everything else will be done for you. I don't do any stamping. That's just a thank you tag that I send um, to thank you for your purchase. Here's last week's. Um, these went out a day late this week because of my birthday. I took the day off on Tuesday. So if you were expecting these, um, they went out on um, yesterday. They went out yesterday instead of Wednesday. Okay. All right. So that's what I will send you. The deadline is Monday at midnight. $35 minimum. Here's the host code. You know, I'm going to move that back a little bit. Um, the host code is also on my blog, and it's also right here. Oh, no. The host code is wrong on the PDF. I need to change that. I think that's an old host code anyway. I don't think it would work. Even if you used it and it did work, I would still count your order. But I'm going to fix that, hopefully, before you put your orders in. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Um, now, you guys know I go hunting for Halloween treats, for chocolate, for candies, for cookies, for all kinds of things. So I have a big box right now in the room next door full of treats. So next week we're gonna do more Halloween. Probably all treats, maybe a card, I don't know. I pulled out all my Halloween stamps, um, current stamps today, and I think I'm gonna pick from them because I. I just want to make sure that you see everything that's available. So next week's just going to be wall-to-wall -wall Halloween. I don't, I don't know if we're going to use just one. I, I've already made one project for next week, and it's the, the cutest Halloween. But I want to use the Clever Cats, too, so we'll see. Okay, the first project is a little box designed to perfectly hold my favorite candy in the whole world. Why is she still barking? Can you guys hear her? Is it loud? Matt? Y'all go. I'm going to shut this door and you go. I don't want to hear any more. No more. Um, <laughs> Pepper's cute, except when she's barking. Um, no, I, Kathy, the store is out of pumpkin rolls. Did you get on the Little Debbie Snack Finder? Because it will tell you other stores in your area that have them. Um, <laughs> I wish my mom was available. I would tell her to come get Pepper. Anyways, um, so this is my favorite candy. And I usually, when I buy candy, I'll buy three so that I can design it and then make a video. I have clean recordings and then make another one for um, during Facebook Friday. So when I went to pull these out, there were only two. Somebody here in this house ate one. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I know which one. My youngest is a little bit obsessed with anything Reese's. Okay, Ruth, you say, yay, Clever Cats. Clever Cats is so funny, but it, I don't know. Can you send me an email that class that we can't pronounce? <laughs> Maria, Maria, send me an email, and then I will respond, because I won't remember, okay? Thank you, Patricia. Yes, okay, she's hopefully gone, uh, gone away. Yesterday, she was chewing up Halloween decorations, little pumpkins that I have in a basket. I'm not sure what she's she's in her terrible teenage years i guess 
Okay, so let's see what we're gonna do first. Of course, we're gonna make that box first because it's, we're gonna need to give it some time to dry. So let's look at our PDF and see if my measurements are correct. Down here at the bottom will be all the measurements and there's a lot of measurements this week. So we're gonna start with Gorgeous Grape, six by seven. We're gonna score the short side at one and five. It does say short this time and not shirt. Score the long side at one, three, four, and six. This is a pretty simple traditional box. Um, you'll recognize it. We're gonna round the tabs this time. Usually we do, we cut them in half and cut the corners off, but I thought, you know what, let's be a little fancy and use our corner rounder today. Now you wanna burnish all those lines with your bone folder. You got some in the bat shape, Patricia. Oh gosh, those Reese's, I like, I, I can't resist that. And these pretzels I'm gonna show you at the end. I, I can't stop eating them and I have no business eating them. Oh. Oh. Okay, this is the same on either side. So it doesn't matter which side is which, okay? So you're gonna go through here and let, let me think. On one side, we're gonna cut these two squares off. I have made a lot of boxes this week and so I have to stop and think about what I'm doing. So on one side, it doesn't matter which, which end, cut off the squares. Now go down and cut these like this. Cut the corners off. Oh, and you know, lately I cannot cut straight to save my life. I'm not sure what is wrong with me, but you know, when this is your job, you pretty much need to cut straight. Look, I did it again. Maybe something's wrong with my scissors. <laughs> we'll say that. <sighs> Never a dull moment around here, you guys. Um, the skunks are back. The, no, I, I'm gonna correct myself. The skunk is back. He made an appearance. We have three ring cameras, two in the front, one in the back. He made an appearance on all three. He got the dogs again and about had it with the skunk. And um, some of you have sent me some, some things. Here's, okay, this will make, you guys hopefully will laugh. I ordered, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna round these corners here with this right here, this corner rounder. Um, you guys, I ordered some of the things that you recommended from Amazon and then I lost them. They came and I, 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 I was cleaning up the house for something and I couldn't remember where I put them and I finally found them today. So I'm gonna put them out tonight. There was um, a little thing that's like electric something, I don't know. And then mothballs. I know, I'm gonna put them where the dogs can't get them. We have a green belt behind our house, so hopefully it will deter. These, these side flaps right here, to get them rounded, you have to kind of manipulate your paper, fold things down and around, okay? Um, um, let's see if I can get it right. And you know, it'll fit in there. You just kind of have to play with your paper. Yeah, this skunk, we have decided it's one and we saw it come across the front. It came from that side of the house, walked across the driveway, walked across the porch, went down the side of the house, went in the backyard. I, I don't know how he got in the backyard unless he can fit through a hole. Are they like cats where they can fit through holes? And then we watched him go on the porch, sniff around, and then go all the way to the other side of the yard. He is, his days are numbered, let me tell you. My husband is done dealing with a skunk. So he better, he better find another yard to terrorize. Um, Jody have skunks too. They like to spray the house. What? Why do they spray your house? Luckily, it's been way in the backyard, like at the back of the backyard for us. All right, now, this is what your piece looks like. By the way, I'm chatting about things that have nothing to do with this. Hey, and somebody last week told me I talked too much about my family. Well, sorry, don't watch my videos then. <laughs> don't watch my lives. Um, the clean recordings, I won't be talking about my family. Um, you, There are clean recordings to all of these. You can go to YouTube, click on it, and um, it'll, I'll just go run through the project, okay? This is a Facebook Live, so we chat, we, we talk. If you want me to not talk about things, watch just the clean recordings. All right, so I put 
adhesive on the outside of those four squares. And I'm gonna fold them up into the side. You know, Peggy, Peggy says, I don't think skunks travel alone. I didn't think so either. Oh, I have to tell you the second part of that story. I don't think so either, but we have only seen one. We have these cameras and we've seen it on the camera now numerous times. There, we have a cat that comes around and we have a skunk. And either maybe he has a family somewhere, I'm not sure. Because like I said, we have a green belt behind our house. Okay, so there's that. Now these we rounded, they're gonna, because they're rounded, they're gonna tuck in nicely in that box. But we're gonna let that dry and we're gonna do the other pieces. Um, the other part of that story is we set out, we sprinkled some dog food on the <laughs> porch. I'm just going to tell you guys, and if this offends you, I'm sorry, but we live in Texas and my husband has a pellet gun and he's going to take the skunk out. Okay. Don't, don't get upset with me, but <laughs> that's how we do things. Um, and he didn't come that night. I know I need to keep, I need to keep stamping and we left it. It rained. It got all gross. And then the next night, there were six raccoons in our backyard eating the wet dog food. Like, um, we have turned into like, I don't know, like a zoo around here. It is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, <laughs> I don't even want to read your stories. I'm so afraid you guys are going to be like, oh my God, your husband's going to kill his gunk. My husband is a big hunter fisherman. Big time. So... I'm stamping the moon in Smoky Slate. You know what the thing about the skunks is? They're kind of cute. I mean, he's kind of cute, but he stinks real bad, real, real bad. And he makes my dog stink. So if he knows what's good for him, he'll go somewhere else, right? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We have got, where did I put my dies? You know what, I didn't realize at first when I stamped this moon, I was like looking in my circle punches, my circle dies. Well, look, the dies come with the circle. Perfect. Fits the moon. And then it also comes with this little label right here. Okay. Whoa. Um, we are also going to cut a brown owl. You know, let me get my, you know, I have some new plates. Let me get the new plates. Since company is here, I will use the clean <laughs> cut and emboss plates. Okay. So, um, we're gonna do these. And these will all fit on your mini cut and emboss. I'm gonna get that lined up in a minute. Um, your mini cut and emboss, okay? So if you only have a mini cut and emboss, don't worry, these will work. This, we're using the little pumpkin um, from the seasonal swirl dies, or the wreath dies, that's what I call them. And then what else are we doing? Um, the fence, this cute little fence. I guess it's supposed to be a spooky fence. Now here's the other thing we're gonna do. We're gonna cut these stars right here in this black piece. Now there's only one set of stars, so you have to run it through like 10 times. Um, but then I realized I really only need them right here because everything else is covered up. So really, you only need to run it through about three times, okay? In the top left corner. All right, did I get everything? Do, 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 do. Yep, okay. Let's bring over the machine. Now I'm smelling skunk. <laughs> it gets in your nose and it does not go away for days and days and days. All right, so now I'm gonna get all these lined up. Um, if you are having problems getting, if your dyes are like ooh, moving around, get your post-it tape. I'm, I'm just linking this every week because I get emails every week. Where do you get the post-it tape? Amazon, there's a link. There's a link to, on today's blog post to several things. The candies, all the candies that I'm using. A post-it tape. A, there's a circle punch that we're gonna use that we no longer carry. Okay, so let me get all this. Put the dies back where they go because they're little and you will lose them. Let's see, okay, that looks good. We've got the cute little pumpkin. I think those seasonal swirl dies are on back order as well. See, I just show you guys and you buy it, buy all of it and then there's none left for anybody else. <laughs> I use the popular things. Everybody likes the things that are popular. 
you can, you know, it's funny, you can uh, go on Pinterest and look for something. What was I looking for? Oh, the, the, I was looking for ideas for the cloche class. And there was not a whole lot um, on Pinterest. But if you search frightfully cute on Pinterest, you will have a million ideas. We all tend to like the same things. But I'm telling you, that cloche class turned out super cute. Even the, the stamp set that comes with the dies, I was thinking, eh, but I love those cards. I love the way they came out. So you guys got to check it out. It's really, really cute. Okay, now the new silver foil, it has three different silvers in it. And this one and yeah, one of the other ones, they're like purple. Have you guys noticed that? Anybody gotten the silver foil yet? It's beautiful. So I thought that would be perfect to go with our purple gorgeous grape box. Okay, so we've got the stars shining through. We have got a, sl a sliver, a strip of cute Halloween designer series paper. Um, let me think of, okay, yeah, which order I want to do this in. We're going to put that right there. Let's get our moon and we will put that on with, mm, no, let's put that flat. Mm, yeah, we're going to put it flat because we are going to, well, you know, it doesn't matter. Dimensional, flat, either one will work. The reason I wanted to do it flat is because I am going to glue this little fence um, in front of it, if I can get it out. This is the dye brush attachment to the take your pick tool, which is this. Um, the take your pick tool, these both ends, they come off and there's a piercer, there's a little sticky thing to pick things up. There is a little like spatula. What else is there? Oh, a stylus. I feel like I'm missing one. What am I miss? Pretend you didn't see that little glue just drop out of there. Um, what is the other? I feel like there's a missing an end. The sticky, the piercer, maybe not. The one that I don't ever use is the little spatula. Do you guys use a little spatula in on your take your pick tool? That's the one I just never really use. Thanks for sharing, Judy. Oh, Sam, you just ordered all of it. Oh, it's so beautiful. That cloche stuff is beautiful. Now, we had a discussion um, on my team page yesterday about how you would mail those cloche cards. That's just that word. I want to say cloche and I know it's wrong, <laughs> but I want to say cloche and not cloche. Um, we had a discussion about mailing those cards and you cannot mail those cards in a regular envelope. You just, with that dome, with that shaker dome, you cannot. Um, it's going to have to be a padded envelope. I'm putting these guys on with dimensionals. Um, and then I remembered many years ago Stampin' Up, remember that those of you that have been around, we had something called Sweet Treat Cups. And when we had those, we had special envelopes for those. They were like a padded envelope. And so I looked on Amazon, didn't find anything, but I found them on eBay. Um, so I'm thinking, surely there's another version of a padded, they're called A2 envelopes. So if anybody finds something like that on Amazon, let us know. You're going to have to pay you're going to have to pay a lot more for to to mail those cloche cards. I think they're more like hand delivery. Okay, I should have done this ahead of time. I did this in the vid clean recording too. I'm taking my beautiful ribbon, black and white gingham and making it orange and black gingham. I should have done it ahead of time or before and let it dry. That is alcohol ink and it'll dry pretty quickly. Um, but it doesn't dry immediately. So it's still a little bit wet. Mainly because mine is loose and falls out. I picked one in and super glued it. Um, Rita, which one of the ends falls out of your take your pick tool that that may be like um you know like what do you call it like a mistake like they would replace it 
if it was not staying in because that, that shouldn't happen. Um, you know what? I do battle my take your pick tool. I'm going to be honest. I do battle it sometimes, but I have the opposite. Like it's it, that, that uh, putty end is tight and I have to really, you know, screw it in. <laughs> that sounds wrong. I have to really crank it in there. That I'll use that word crank, crank it in. Um, they're not tight. You, yeah. Rita, that ha you, you should, um, you should reach out to Stampin' Up. I don't know how long you've had it, but that sounds like defective. That's the word I'm looking for. Why are words so hard for me when I'm doing Facebook live? I don't know. All right. We're almost there. Reese's peanut butter cup. Got to put it in the box, fold these down and they go in like that. And then we will put some adhesive. I should have done this before I put the box together, but that's okay. Now we're gonna put that right there. Why does it feel like something is missing? Is something missing? Oh, I know, Wink of Stella. I added Wink of Stella to the moon. Um, when you use your Wink of Stella, if you go over that white spot, it's gonna drag it well it might drag the ink and make it muddy looking um it kind of picks up the ink sometimes so just kind of go around those little white spots okay all right there we go reese's peanut butter cup those are those are everywhere you won't have trouble finding those this would be a great little teacher gift um I, i'm pretty sure every teacher well i guess teachers <laughs> I guess teachers who are allergic to peanut butter wouldn't like it, but for the most part, I think the teachers would like that. <laughs> Some schools have a no peanut zone, so I don't know. Maybe that's not a good gift. I don't know. I, I would have to find a new school if we had a no peanut problem at my school. Okay, cleaning up. Let me get the, why do I feel like, look, that's all that's on here, really? I feel like, oh, here, this goes here. Um, I can see your comments going by. Um, were they just like bubble envelopes or something more sturdy? Sam, they were bubble envelopes. Yes. If I remember correctly, somebody will chime in. It was like 10 or 12 years ago. Seems like a bubble envelope that the closed dome could still get smashed. Well, I mean, I guess potentially, Sam, do you remember, were you around when we had the sweet treat cups? They were like the first, they were like the original shaker dome, but they were like candy cups that you put in in the card. It was really cute. Um, I think potentially anything is going to get destroyed in the mail. Have you guys been watching the news? Like the mail is getting ready to have some major changes, so we pretty much need to double our expectation time with the mail <laughs> from now on. <sighs> We are living in weird times, my friends. Everything is weird. Everything is difficult. Okay, but let's focus on Halloween treats because that's fun. And that is a good distraction. All right, so I told you guys a couple of weeks ago I went to Sam's Club. I don't have a Costco membership, by the way. I can't stand Costco. It is a zoo. Um, I went one time and I swear I'd never go in there again. We have Sam's Club and I love it because it's like Costco, but much quieter. All right, so that's just my plug for Sam's Club. Anyway, so I found these at Sam's Club. I've bought these in the past and I love them. Little test tubes. We're gonna take this ugly tag off because, I mean, we're more creative than that. Oops, I probably shouldn't have broken that seal. Um, however, so I was looking all over the place online. I couldn't find them anywhere. I looked on the Sam's Club website and they are only at Sam's, it says. So I was like, okay, great. So then what I did is I got on Amazon and I found you guys some test tubes and I ordered them to make sure that they were the right size. And I actually like them better because they have the cork lid. Did I link those today? I did, right? Um, I should have linked them for you. Now look, they're a little bit taller, but they will work just fine. So if you wanna make this project and you don't have a Sam's Club membership, just go, I think, I mean, this giant bag was like, $11, I think. And it's cute. It has a cork lid. So if you want to make these, 
I have a link for you on Amazon. Now, years ago, I did a, a test tube project where I ordered the test tubes from a science company and I ordered the wrong size. I couldn't figure out the right size. I had a link to the wrong size, but this time I ordered them to make sure they were the right size. All right. Okay. So another funny side note on these is this is an old design of mine. Old. I think it was like 2012. So I went back to find it. And again, my tutorial was terrible. I could hardly understand it. So hopefully, hopefully I'll do a better job today showing you guys how to make this. All right, let's make the box. No, do I want to make the box first? I guess it doesn't matter. You know what, since I have the stamp apparatus, let's make the tag first. We're going to use a little potion. Um, oh, did somebody ask? They're plastic. Yes, they are plastic. Um, Jody, I know Walmart. Oh, I know. Um, we have a little a little Walmart here and where I live and it's it's not a neighborhood Walmart it's kind of in between a neighborhood Walmart and a big Walmart and it's quiet so I don't hate that Walmart but other Walmarts yes I hate all right so um these little potion bottles so cute I'm going to stamp them I want to do it in three different colors so I the easiest thing to do is to use your stamp apparatus okay so get it i need to make sure i leave room for the other one okay and again get your post-it tape okay it's going to come in very handy and all you got to do is cover them up as you go what colors did i use okay pumpkin pie and we'll do one at a time oh i need to get my uh don't forget to take the tape off because if you stamp with the tape on you're gonna have a mess. Now, here is my, I mean, sometimes I do things the hard way. And then somebody's like, why didn't you just do it this way? I had a little moment yesterday. I was cleaning it in between each one, but really, do you need to clean it? Because it's the same color. So let's try not cleaning it, okay? So we're gonna cover up these two. I don't know something so the problem with wiping it with a chamois is that then it's a little bit wet and the tape doesn't stick very well so if we stamp that and it still has ink on it it's okay because it's stamping in the exact same place do you guys do you guys see what I'm saying all right now for the middle one we're gonna do we're gonna cover it with two pieces of this post-it tape and we're gonna do granny apples. So we've done gorgeous grape, pumpkin pie, and granny apple. Uh-oh, look at that. Ooh, I'm not sticking my fingers in that. I'm gonna put that over here and take care of that later. Now, wait a minute, look what happened. Now we have to clean it because those took the tape off. All right, all right, I'm glad I saw that before I stamped it. Let me find my chamois. Let's try that again because now we have to clean it so we don't want granny apple on all three of them. Let's try that again. Oh, I'm gonna have to take those off. You know what? That's perfect for your take your pick tool. Let's get those off. Oh, let's not drop them on something important. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, I did pretty good. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully it's dry. A couple of pieces. We need the middle one, so cover these up. And I don't know why they came up that time. See, who knows? Maybe put them on upside down. Surely I did not do that. <laughs> I would not be surprised. All right, and there we go. It's perfect, right? It's totally perfect. And you, the other way, I, I think I've told you guys this story before. When I was um, brand new, uh, my downline Deborah was actually a friend and I, she had been a demonstrator before, and I said, Dara, I don't know how to get different colors on my stamps. And she came to my classroom when I was teaching, and she showed me, I'll never forget, um, and she showed me how to color your stamps with stamp and write markers. So that's another way. If you have your markers, you can color them in the different colors, and then you <sighs> breathe on it, and then stamp, and it works pretty good. Um, it's not as uh, like solid, you know, um, it's kind of, I feel like the ink is a little bit weaker when you do that. So the Stamparatus, um, kind of solves that. All right. Now I didn't tell you the sentiment that I'm using. I'm the sentiments in the set are great. That just wasn't exactly what I wanted. 
or needed. So I pulled this one from Cute Halloween and we're gonna use this tag. Um, this is from the tailored tag dies. But I realized later that this set has a tag die. So where's my stamp set? What fits on there? Batty for you maybe? Frightfully cute? No, those are too long. The two in the front maybe? I don't know, but it has a tag. You could make it work. But I wanted this. I love these fonts in the um, cute Halloween bundle. Let's look at the stars. They're all over the place. All right, let's run it through. Um, Angela, I have it linked under today's. Um, and on today's blog post at pinkbuckaroo.com, it's post-it tape. It's from Amazon, and it is awesome. It's like the stickiness of a post-it note, and it will not tear your paper, and it will hold things where you want them, and it's awesome. Um, but if you go over to the blog today, you'll find it listed um, underneath this. No, underneath the first project, I think. All right, so... I don't know why I'm using things on back order this week, but I am sorry. Glitter paper is awesome, and it's supposed to be back soon. Now, I have a hard time getting things to stick to the, to the glitter paper, this glitter paper. So I'm going to use Tombow. I've punched out a circle um, from the Gorgeous Grape Designer Series paper. And then we're just going to put our little potions right in the middle. And then we're going to let that dry while we make the box. Now, well, I'll tell you when we get there. The designer series paper I did in a weird way because I was following my own old tutorial. I'm thinking maybe there might be a better way. So we'll talk about that when we get there. Where are my notes? Okay, you're gonna need, now I use Gorgeous Grape, but depending on what candy you, you use, you know, use whatever color you want. Um, oh, the chamois. Yeah, the chamois Stampin' Up! sells them. They're so gross and ugly. That just means you've used them a lot. They're, they're like, um, like a sponge, but not a sponge. And you get it wet, and you just clean. And then when, you're, when it's dirty, you just go in the sink and you rinse it. Rinse, rinse, rinse until it's clean. I mean, obviously it's going to be stained, but it works so well. So, so well. All right, four by 11. We're going to score the short side at, let me look at my notes, one and a fourth and two and three fourths. Turn to the long side and score at five and a half, six and three fourths, nine and a fourth, and 10 and a half. Now, we have one more score line and this score line is only gonna go to that score line at, let's see, what did I do? Three inches stop at that score line flip it over and do three inches to that score line now don't worry i know the score lines are on the other side it doesn't matter because we're, that's just a guide for us to cut things off okay now let's get our scissors all right so to orient you on this paper this skinny part over here is the part that's going to fold in the back this part where we did that half of a score line that's the back the tall back all right, so there on the tall back, we're gonna cut on that score line and then cut all the way down. And if you are worried about cutting straight here, get your trimmer, your Stampin' Trimmer, and cut it on that, okay? So cut those off. Now, we're gonna just take our little scissors and cut all of this. And I'm just gonna cut those corners because I can't cut straight and that will help me get all my edges together. All right, all right. I don't know if you guys were not here at the beginning, I told a story about, we gotta cut these off too. Those AT&T fiber people creating a lake in our cul-de-sac yesterday. Oh, I'm so ticked and the asphalt is pulling away from the sidewalk and now the part of our driveway is separating. Fun times. Fun times. 
And, you know, I'm the last street in the neighborhood. You'd think they would have corrected their mistakes before they got to us because they've been doing this all over the neighborhood for two months, three months. But no, they don't care. I have a friend who said when they were in her neighborhood, she doesn't live here, but when they were in her neighborhood, they actually hit a gas line and a house blew up. <laughs> all for fiber, internet, cable. <sighs> All right, burnish these lines. I should have done that before. I snipped. I did that on the video too. I don't know why. All right, so that's what your piece looks like. Um, I am going to use, I think we're going to start with Tombow and we're going to use tear and tape also. All right, so flip it over. The first thing that we're going to do is fold this up like that. Okay, so let's put... A little bit of Tombow there and a little bit of Tombow there and fold up. Okay, and press those into the sides. And then we're gonna take these and we're gonna fold these in like that, okay? So on the outside and on the outside and fold and uh oh get those straight squeeze I should have used a adhesive that dries faster now this is going to just go oh I forgot to punch it oh my gosh I almost glued it without punching it you guys somebody's yelling you forgot to punch the circle before you get to this part you need a three-fourths inch circle punch we haven't sold the three-fourths circle punch in years and years you might have a circle die small enough, but I did not. So I went to Amazon and there are three quarter inch punches on Amazon. So if you need one, go get it. That's what you're gonna need for this. Oh, can I do it? Is it gonna fit? Oh, well, let's pull it apart. It's all right, it's all right, don't worry, don't worry. We'll fix it, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. It's the inside, no one will see it. Right here, we need to punch that circle. That's very important. I'm gonna punch the circle first out of just scrap paper so that I know where my circle needs to be because if I try to eyeball it, it's off-centered every time. So just punch like a scrap and put it there and then take your punch and punch right there, okay? All right, now back to our regularly scheduled program where I pretend I didn't mess up. Fold those in. And, you know, when I did all the clean recordings yesterday, everything went really smoothly, except for my phone not recording when it said it was recording. <sighs> I don't know. All right, now, around. It's going to go like hug it, right? See, it's going to go around. And this we're going to put down. It's kind of like a, a ballet. We have to sequence, or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Again. I'll have to complete my sentences. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But anyway, look, see how that goes around? And that's going to go in. So for this, we're going to put some tear and tape because that's going to be the easiest to do there. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rita, that is hilarious. I like that song. You know, that Mambo, what's that called? Mambo 45 or something. They say my name in that song. So I've always liked that song. All right, here we go again squeeze this part a little bit goes inside fold that down choreograph that's the word I was looking for choreograph it all and then boom there you have it and get your finger in there and squeeze it okay so there's your main construction like that all right now we've got designer series paper the first piece look at that I you know all right hold please let's put some more adhesive so that it doesn't look ridiculous we're gonna hold it for a few seconds. Let's see what else could I tell you guys about. My neighborhood is having a scarecrow contest again. I told you guys last year. I'm pretty bitter about not placing last year because my, my scarecrow was very cute and I didn't even come in for a second or third. So I'm not playing this year. I, my feelings were hurt. <laughs> Actually, I spent a ton on that scarecrow for what? For a contest that didn't even matter. I'm not doing that again. I didn't even get bragging rights. Okay, there we go. 
See how I kill time with random stories? So those of you that don't like my random talking, I'm sorry. I could just sit here in silence. My neighbor is home. The one whose driveway is a cavern underneath. I feel so bad for her. Ugh. All right. These measurements are here. Now, here's a weird, this is weird. Okay, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to just tell you. This is weird, the way I did it a few years ago. And, and remember, this was like a long time ago, okay? Back before I knew what I knew. Those look different in sizes. You're gonna need four pieces of designer series paper. Where did I put my Simply Scored? Two of them are, let me look, one and a fourth by, no, no. Two and a fourth by one and a half. Then you've got these other two, no, those are these, two and a fourth by two. Then you've got these that are two and a fourth. That should say two and a half. I put two and a fourth by two twice. Third week in a row. I hope you guys don't print these out before um, I have a chance to actually <laughs> fix them. Anyways, okay. This one is fatter than this one. That's what I'm trying to tell you, all right? You've got a fatter one and a skinnier one. And I will put the correct measurements on after we're done. The fatter one, you're gonna come over here and you're gonna score it at a quarter inch from each end, all right? Look at my simply score, just, I mean my take your pick tool just jumped in like, hey, I'm gonna score that paper. Don't worry, you don't have to use that score tool down there. I never do that. I don't know why I did that. Okay, now, in theory, this is a good idea, but I think if you're gonna make a bunch of these, I would just cut four like this, all right? So that they would just, maybe like a little bit skinnier. But the, the theory in this is that we've got these pieces that have, see how they're like that. And they're gonna go on, and look, it's not even the right size. <sighs> the theory is, I'm just gonna tell you the theory and then I'm gonna show you the easy way because this is dumb, this is dumb. It's It hugs, right? Okay, so it's like that. And then, so you have these two pieces like that. Let's just pretend. I'll fix the measurements, but right now we're just gonna go with it, like that. And then you put that one there and it looks like a continuous piece. What, I don't know what I did with these pieces, but they are so wrong. All right, so see, and then it's like you made a belly band without scoring it. But I mean, that's a lot of work. So let's just do little pieces, right? I mean, if we're gonna make 20 of these for our kids class, we need them to be as simple as possible. One and a half, so let's make them one and one, I don't, one, let's see, one and, let's do one and three eighths. Um, <laughs> Yvonne, I don't know what you put, but it's funny. You know, sometimes when you type something and it comes off like, I didn't mean to say that, that's funny. I don't know what you typed. Um, okay, so you guys are getting a show today. You're seeing me screw up all over the place. That's why you come. I think that's why you guys come to watch. Let's see what she messes up on today. Um, one and a fourth and three eighths. All right, so if you want to do it the easy way, your pieces need to be, hold, hold on. Let me make sure. Yep, that's perfect. Your pieces need to be two and a fourth by one and three eighths. I'll put both on the PDF. I'll we'll put the, the easy method and the fancy method. And then you can decide, if you're just making one or two, then maybe you might wanna try the fancy method. Oh, why is that so fat? It doesn't fit. What was I doing? I don't know, I have no idea. You know, I did this, video yesterday that was just fine hey you guys have you if you guys are on instagram there's a lady that i'm following that is new and she's hilarious and i love her her name is sharon sharon says so that's what it's called and she's like she explains okay this still doesn't fit but we're going with it she explains government stuff in plain people terms <laughs> you know like she explains the national debt. She explains all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're looking for, she has a podcast. So if you're looking for something fun, funny, 
She's funny. And she's also nonpartisan. I will tell you that right now. She's nonpartisan. I cannot figure out which party she votes for. So if you're looking for an easy way to understand politics and all the history and government stuff, you need to find her on Instagram. Here it is. Um, Sharon says so. I don't know how, who, somebody shared something of hers and I love her. She's hilarious and funny and she's cute. And I think you guys would like her. She has nothing to do with Stampin' Up. All right, there we go. This was like the most difficult, easy project I've ever made. All right, now we're almost there. What time is it? Oh my goodness, we're gonna be late. Where are my glue dots? Now, I did tell you guys that this tag is from the tailor-made tags, right? Tailor-made tags. When I see this, I read it as treat yourself. <laughs> but it says treat yourself, so I'll say it right. Treat yourself. You follow Sharon too? Teresa, yeah, she's great. Sharon, yes, Karen, you like her? Yeah, I'm like late to the game with her. I don't know. Because I looked at, she has a ton of followers. She's hilarious. And I, I can't wait to hear what she has to say every day. I lost the glue dots again. Um, I am a news junkie. Did you guys know that about me? I am a news junkie. It is an unhealthy habit. I know. It's very unhealthy because the news is awful. But I can't, I can't help it. Um, so sometimes I don't understand what they're talking about, like all this national debt and blah, blah, blah. And so to have someone explain it in simple terms, you know, layman's terms, it's good. Matte black dots on either side and a gorgeous grape ribbon. And there you have the cutest test tube holder you ever saw that took me twice as long as it should have taken. <laughs> okay. So if you go to my blog. I will fix that PDF. So don't print it yet. But there's a link for a punch because you'll need three quarters of an inch for this. Both of those, the other test tubes that I linked as well. Um, what was the other thing? Oh, and the test tubes. Okay. So those are there and the punch and the measurements that may or may not work. Who knows? <laughs> I'm a professional. Can't you guys tell? All right, let's see. What do I need now? Where's my tray? Let me get out of the way. All right. Now, we're almost to the end. I'm going to show you guys my most favorite project that I made. Sometimes I make something and I just can't even stand how cute it is. I don't know why. Some things are like that. But these... And you're probably going to be like, really? That's, that's what you're so excited about? But these are the cutest things I've ever seen. Okay, hold on. Let me show you. It's a long and skinny box with a shaker tag. And here's another one. Hold on. Inside are, ready? And I told you guys too about these the other week. Chocolate dipped pretzels. Now I've made these before myself, but you can buy these already made. They're very cute. They again from Sam's Club, but I found them on Amazon, so they're there. And Target also has a package of them. Not this three packet, you know, like this package of three different ones. Um, but you can find them. Look how cute. I'm telling you, my pretzels that I made did not look that cute. Um, so that's what's in here. That's what we're going to make. Very cute. And I think we're going to use this guy so he matches the box. You could make the boxes match the color of whatever you're using, right? You don't have to do orange every time. These are cute. And unfortunately, they are delicious. And I say unfortunately because I have eaten quite a few of them. Now, the box is almost empty. I will say that I took some to Waco last weekend for my daughter. So I didn't eat all of them. It's been a bad sugar week here. That and the pumpkin candy corn things. Plus my birthday. Time to get back on track. All right, man, I've got stuff everywhere. This box is easy. 
that last box wasn't that easy. I'll give you that. That was a, that was a level, I don't know, level seven maybe. <laughs> this is a level two, you guys. This is so easy. You're going to need a piece of pumpkin pie. That measures, let me look at my notes. Um, I know the finger, Ashley, right? It's so funny. It's a witch's finger. So, you know, you could change your shaker to have a little witch stamp on it. It would be so cute. Um, 10 by four and a half. And I realized yesterday too, that you actually, because if you do 10 by four and a half, you're only going to get one out of a sheet of cardstock, but there is no reason that this can't be four and a fourth. In fact, if you get the make and takes, I'm going to send you four and a fourth so I can get two out of a sheet because let me show you, you're going to just score it at one, two, three, and four. That half inch right there is just the tab. And that can be a quarter inch. Your tear and table fit on there. Okay. So cut it four and a fourth. Then um, the bottom or the long side, we're going to do it one and nine. Now we're going to get that cute little pumpkin and we're going to stamp him all over like polka dots. All right. And I'm just going to go all over and I am stamping it in pumpkin pie on pumpkin pie cardstock, tone on tone. Um, and the more pumpkins you stamp, the better, I think. You want to turn your pumpkin or your paper as you go so that they're not all like the same. And while you wait for me to do this, now what story shall I tell? I will say that it was supposed to, like we were supposed to have a really bad storm. It told us it's gonna be a bad, bad, bad storm overnight. I was very excited. I don't, it rained like less than half an inch. I barely heard the thunder, was very disappointed. But my husband is actually camping, he's having a, his bros weekend with his army buddies. And he was very upset that it was gonna storm. So at least he's a happy camper now. He better be while I'm here dealing with the raging river in my cul-de-sac and the skunk. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, honey, go, it's fine. It's fine, no problem. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, now that we've done that, we've got that all stamped. Hopefully he's not watching. Can you imagine he's watching with all his army buddies while they're camping at the river and I'm talking about him. Burnish all your lines. He's had quite a few bros weekends lately. Some of them, do you guys, any of your husbands say, oh, I have to go for work. I have to go on this hunting trip for work. Huh. Anyways, so remember that half inch strip right there, we're going to cut off those corners and that's all we're going to do. That's all we're going to cut off. My hubby is wonderful and I'm just teasing. I don't mind. I used to mind when my kids were little, that was hard. But now I'm kind of like, oh, you mean I'm going to have a whole weekend and I can stamp and not feel guilty and I can stay up late reading my book? I don't know. Hubbies. All right, I'm going to cut these apart like this. And then we're just going to put it together. I really think out of the three, this is the easiest one. Now, we're going to make a shaker tag, which takes it up a notch. Or five notches, because shaker cards will take some time. So if you were going to make these, say, for a class, then maybe don't make the tag a shaker. Just make it a tag simplify it a little bit. All right, let's take off the tear and tape. We're running really late today. This may be the longest Facebook Live ever. Y'all just sent me so many awesome things. I had to spend time at the beginning showing you all the wonderful things that you sent me. All right, now fold in and fold over and it'll match up perfectly. Now we're going to, this is the bottom, I guess, pumpkins are all going different ways so it doesn't matter this back edge or this edge where you just sealed that you want that in the back so we're going to fold that flap in first and for the sake of the video let's just use stamp and seal put a little bit of adhesive on all three that that first one does not need adhesive 
All right, so tuck the back one in, then tuck the sides, and then the front one is last. All right, stick in your cute little pretzel. It's so delicious. And then you're gonna close it up the same way, back, sides, and then the front. Now, I'm not adhering this because I don't want the recipient to tear my adorable box up when they get it. And I'm gonna take this ribbon, I'm gonna wrap it around. You really need, I don't know, I think you need another set of hands to do this. Let's see if I can do it. I'm not sure how I did it the first time. All right, so I'm running it up and I'm gonna tie it up here. Like this, oh, ah, this is why you need another set of hands. Thanks, Joan, I appreciate it. Um, Yvonne, what book am I reading right now? I'm reading something so dumb and I, <laughs> I don't even want to admit what I'm reading right now and I am not a quitter and I won't quit it and I need to quit it because it's a waste of time. It's one of those Regency romance books, which I like, but this one is just, oh, guys. Mm. So I do not recommend. I have The Lost Apothecary in my Kindle from the library. So that will be next. All right. So see how I did that? Okay, now let's do our tag real fast. Um, I am using, let's see, did I not cut these out ahead of time? Come on, Erica. Um, okay, we're gonna do the spider web. We're gonna do the spider web, why, why are they all the way back here? The spider web, we're gonna use, um, what do you call this? Adhesive sheets. Um, and you're gonna just put this right down on your basic black cardstock. Okay, so we're gonna cut the spider web from that. Um, I have three dies, okay? Um, let me see, where is the tag? So the back circle, the white circle, I cut out of the, the circle that's a little bit larger. Then I've got one that's a little bit smaller. To, we're going to use that to cover up the foam, adhe uh, foam adhesive. So you want the black, the inside circle of the black one to be smaller than your white circle. And then take your um, scallop circle that's bigger and you're going to make a frame. Okay. So let's bring those over and run them through. Put them on here. Let's see, I'm trying to read comments, but I'm trying to get us through this too. All right, there we go. And make sure this guy's still on the adhesive. Everybody, everybody, yeah, okay. Everybody looks good. Every time I put that down, he wiggles there. I should use some tape, but I'm not gonna do it. All right, run it through, and that spider web's got a lot of cutting edge, so I'm just gonna kind of do it like three or four times. And let's see what we got. We've got our frame. We've got our spider web. And I already cut the letters out ahead of time. I knew I'd done something ahead of time. Get your dye brush. Mary Beth. Um, yeah, Mary Beth, I talk a lot during my Facebook lives. That's what a Facebook live is about, unfortunately. You gotta you gotta be around for the chit chat too. You can always go to the clean recordings and not hear about my adventures in South Texas. All right, now we've got a spider web that is sticky. We've turned it into a sticker. So we're gonna take this, and you really only need half a spider web for this. So if you cut out one, you'll have enough to make two. All right, and then I'm just gonna put about half of it right there on my circle. Trim around, 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 and then save this one for the next tag. Um, then we're gonna get this little spider right here. and. The spider's web is way too long. I need it to I need it to be shorter. 
um, you want to stamp your spider pretty close because when we put the edge on there, you're not going to really be able to see much of it if you put it too low, which I made a mistake yesterday. So I just inked up right to that point, okay? Put them right there. Now we're going to get these foam adhesive strips. If you have not used these before, this is pretty much what they're designed for to make a shaker. And you want to go around like this around the edge, stay as far out to the edge as possible. Okay. Around and around and around we go. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Yvonne. Um, around and around. And then when you get down here, you're gonna cut it off, but make sure, oh, Pepper's back. She's like, mom, you've been on too long. It's time to pay attention to me. Make sure you don't cut it too short because then your sequins will fall out. All right, the sequins I'm using are our sequins for everything. And you've gotta be real careful when you open that. And I'm gonna use the orange ones. And you don't wanna to put too many because then they don't have room to shake around. So maybe just one or two pinches. And then I'm gonna very carefully peel that off. And I have cut out a window sheet that is the same size. I'm gonna lay that down. And that's the basic design of your shaker. Now get your um, frame that we made and we're just gonna glue that around the edge. Yes, Pepper, we hear you. Go take a nap and put that there. Now I've cut out the boo with a playful, <laughs> alphabet. Okay, and I'm just going to glue those kind of wonky, kind of around. Oh, we've got a little star stuck to it. That's all right. That'll work. And we'll do this one like this. Let's kind of move them around. See, if you use a liquid glue, you can kind of arrange them. Just don't get glue on your fingers and stick to the window. All right, now, last but not least, the sentiment that I was going to use is somewhere on this table. It's like a, a game. You know what? Nope, it's over here. Nope, that's not it. I think we used it on the first project. Did we? Hold, please. Yep, here it is. All right, so remember, we used this on the very first project. Happy Halloween to you. But we're going to just do the to you. Um, boo to you and I did it in pumpkin pie but on that one I did it in basic black whatever um, I felt like it needed an exclamation mark so I'm adding that with my stamp and write marker now I'm just going to take my scissors and just cut a little banner <laughs> she's so needy all right so to you boo to you and then we want to just make a little flag. Pepper, be quiet. Everybody can hear you. Like that. And then we're just going to glue it right there. Boo to you. Cute, right? I think it's just really cute. Um, and then dimensionals. Dimensionals. I know, Maria, she does. I didn't take her for a walk today. I went by myself and she's mad. <laughs> yeah, see? Okay, dimensionals. Pepper, I'm almost done. Stick that there. There's your cute little box with your delicious pretzels. And look how cute they are. They're so cute. All right, I made a giant mess and I went way over time. But guess what? You've got awesome uh, Halloween treats that you can make. All right, so we made those. And we made these, and we made these. Now, I've got another video for you coming on Monday. Let me just show you. Um, it looks like this, and it has Rice Krispie Treats on the inside. So you'll have to come back Monday to see this one, okay? All right, you guys, give me five minutes. I will update the video with all the links that you need, and I will fix the PDF. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next Friday with more Halloween stuff. Thanks, everybody. Bye.